Hello everybody, welcome to Mike's Mike, my name is Mike, and welcome to another episode of Reality Rewind, which is a series that I do on my channel where we go back and review an old reality TV show and see how it would stack up today. The other two installments in this series that I've done so far were very much like, old TV, haha, boots, this sis, pop the wig, wig snap, snap TG, gun, gun the housework. housework. But this one is a bit different. I'm going to be taking a more analytical approach, as you can see, because I'm doing this which implies big brain moves are about to be done. Where is my Pulitzer, Miss Mayor? About a month ago, I posted in the community tab in my channel asking which reality TV show I should look at with this new analytical approach. And the highest rated response was Toddlers and Tiaras. So that's what we're going to be looking at. Yay, give me soda, Pronto! Yeah, okay, I will. And a snack, Pronto! Okay. I'm going to be talking about the Origin, controversies, spin-offs, ratings. Also, straight up, I do not like this show. So my negative bias will probably come through. So just a warning with that. At the time when I was watching it when I was younger, I was like, yay, reality TV. But now I'm like, oh. I think the face that I can give that best summarizes my feelings when watching a Toddlers and Tiaras clip is this. I smell a star. What is happening? Why is it happening? I'm going to be referring to Toddlers and Tiaras as TNT because saying Toddlers and Tiaras for some reason just I can't do it. So I've jumped over to Wikipedia and as we know trusty source, the most trusty source on the internet. And according to Wikipedia, TNT is an American reality TV series that aired on TLC from January 27, 2009 to October 16, 2016. There were nine seasons, but Wikipedia says seven. The actual TLC website says nine and another one says eight. So I'm going to go with TLC since they made it. There were nine seasons. There was a three year hiatus in the middle somewhere. I think it was, yeah, between season six and season seven. And they tried to rebrand and come back with another Toddlers and Tiaras, but just no. no. So I took the liberty and the journalism excellence and I went over to IMDb to find a succinct explanation, a look into the world of child beauty pageants. Also IMDb has the show at a rating of 1.8 out of 10 out of 3,402 ratings, which is a lot to think about. There's a lot of angry people reviewing this show. And I feel like if you've seen it, you understand why. And if you haven't seen it, you will understand why. On the actual TLC website, the synopsis for that seventh redemption season is this new supersized, supersized? Super? This new supersized season revisits the cutthroat world of child beauty pageants, all the pretty and now so pretty, which I'm guessing is supposed to be not so pretty. I just, I always love it when there's like an official source that has a grammar or spelling mistake. The pretty and the now so pretty. Apparently TLC is an initialism for the learning channel. Blank stare. Which makes me laugh because what are we learning? Especially with all the shows they have. I'm talking titles and tiaras, 19 kids and counting, 90 day fiance and my 600 pound life. Who needs to go to class? Kids, don't even bother. Zoom University, don't even bother. Just turn on the learning channel and you can learn something. TNT was created by Doug Mirabello, who amongst other things created Here Comes Honey Boo Boo, which we'll talk about in spin-offs. And actually a whole bunch of the spin-offs that got canceled after like one or a few episodes. And they all kind of had the same theme. Very interesting to me and the home girls. The show was produced by Authentic Entertainment and distributed by 20th Television. It's fun fact time, everyone. Get your fun fact bingo. Why can't I speak? Fun fact bingo sheets out. 20th Television is owned by Walt Disney Television, step two, which is part of Disney Media Networks, which is part of the Walt Disney Company. Disney owns everything. Disney is terrifying, absolutely terrifying. However, I do like Ratatouille, it's a trade-off. I will let them have the frightening media monopoly in exchange for the cute rat movie. Authentic Entertainment LLC has actually produced a shitload of reality TV shows, including Ace of Cakes and Surprise Homecoming with Billy Ray Cyrus. And also non-reality TV shows such as the Australian hit Mortified, which is iconic by the way, real ones know. In terms of TNT viewership, it was hard to actually find a concrete number, which is interesting because usually when I do this kind of stuff, it's so easy to find these numbers. But Tuttles and Tiaras was like, very difficult. That's suspicious. But apparently it was pulling 1.6 million viewers a week towards the end. So I think that was 2016, when, which was when season nine was airing. So if you extrapolate the data, master's degree, I would say that the early seasons probably have around three to four million per episode, especially if you consider 
that when Here Comes Honey Boo Boo aired, that had something like 2.2 million views on average for the first season. So, and that was a spin-off. So now you have a bit of context on what the show is and who's behind it. So let's have a look at some of the clips from the show that I found on YouTube, and then we can talk about some of the controversies and spin-offs. Well, we have to practice or we can't be in the practice room, because when you're in the practice room, you have to practice. So do you want to practice or go outside where the babies go? If you wanted to experience things, you would experience them, because if you wanted to experience you would just experience them. And also, do you want to go outside where the babies are? Is she not a baby? You don't know anything okay, about know me, this. but you're about to know. No, I'll tell you one thing now, you need to back off. Remember I said the face? This one. I'm like, don't you old bitches have something else to do? Bye. Bye, Felicia. Oh, uh, really? Last time I saw you were in charge of nothing, bitch. What the fuck is going on here on this day? These kind of scenes, you can draw a similarity between this and Dance Mums. However, with Dance Mums, I would say that there's an obvious amped up dramatic effect. A lot of it's scripted to make a lot of drama between the mums. And it's fun because you can tell that it's fake or highly dramatized. This doesn't feel like that. And it makes me hold Dwan pause because I'm like, sorry, why am I scratching my eye? It just makes me think, why would you want to go on this show? D feeling quirky. Please welcome number 17, Giovanna. This show makes me feel rage. I don't know why I'm speaking with two spaces in between my words. Why is there a swimwear category for a toddler's modeling competition? I hate it here. What the fuck is going on here on this day? What the fuck is going on over there in those days, Miss America? Hello? Why are these toddlers modeling swimwear? Does that not just feel weird? Why was that frightening? That was scary. Classic TLC with the sound effects, the <laughs> when she hit the camera, like she basically just Thanos destroyed half the population when she did that. Get that away from you. Some people would say that Brenna is a brat, but there's like a totally an other side to her too. Some people would say that. Not everybody's saying that. That's the rumors that are coming forth. She is the youngest and she does get so much attention that, you know, when you put her in a different setting, she's just kind of like, well, this is not how it happens. If you copy someone, you better do better. This behavior is scary. Pause. Why does she kind of look like Pink from the Pepsi We Will Rock You commercial? Does anyone remember that? That feels like a fever dream. But it's one of those videos where, sorry, this is a tangent. It's one of those videos when you type it into YouTube and it has like 100 million views. Brenna is full of drama. There's no way of saying that that's not true. But that is part of her personality. Some people don't like that kind of personality, but those people are jealous. Girly. It's just bad behavior. <laughs> Here we have another clip from the girl in question, Brenna. I think it's the later season, so she's a little bit older. Brenna, is that your Back to the oh, yes! Daddy, give me soda pronto! Yeah, okay, I will. And a snack pronto! Okay. This is bad behavior, but it's also like the snap and tilt, like she did something there. And a snack pronto! And a snack pronto. I am a celebrity. I'm a celebrity because I am the best celebrity. People on TikTok, when they get verified, Brenna, success equals crown. It's like a riddle and I love an IQ puzzle. We're now gonna have a look at some clips from um, Alana Thompson, who you might know as Honey Boo Boo. So let's have a look at some clips of her on Toddlers and Tiaras. Oh, no. A lot of pageant moms and people know what this special juice is. A special juice is just to help her energize her. We have tried the pixie sticks as they call pageant crack. Pageant crack? It's part of pageant competition. They want their child to stand out, so you've got those moms that are going to do whatever's necessary to put their child in that light. It makes me feel like I want to pull my mommy's hair. 
Huh? So apparently the go-go juice is a mixture of Red Bull and Mountain Dew that contains as much caffeine as two cups of coffee. My go-go juice is kicking in right now. Miss Mamela Mamderson, if I have two cups of coffee a day, I I will not sleep. And I'm a at my big age, my large, oversized age, nearly 25. Crusty, I know, but that's an issue for another time. When Alana's mum, who goes by Mama June, even though her name is Shannon, which confuses me, when she was criticised, she said there's far worse things I could be giving her alcohol, which is true, but. I don't think you can compare those things in this instance. <sighs> anyway, I feel like now's a good time to talk about spin-offs because one of them involves Alana Thompson, aka Honey Boo Boo, and that is Here Comes Honey Boo Boo, which revolves around Alana and her family's adventures in Georgia. I smell freedom or cow poop. Can't really tell the difference right now. The show actually performed pretty well, and I mentioned this before, that it consistently pulled around 2 million views in the first season, which is pretty good for a spin-off. And this is a really fun statistic that was on the Wikipedia page. It reached 3 million viewers on an episode that aired during the 2012 Republican National Convention. Huh? <laughs> Here Comes Honey Boo Boo ran for four seasons and it was cancelled in 2014 for very hectic reasons that I'm not gonna go into, but let's just say that there were some very unsavory characters. So that show was cancelled in 2014, but there was actually a spin-off of the spin-off, which for me, is a good example of when reality TV kind of just goes like, Ugh. This spin-off of the spin-off was called Mama June from Hot to Not, which aired in 2017 and was about Mama June's weight loss transformation. How's this for a fun little paragraph? <laughs> On March 13, 2019, June and her boyfriend were arrested, arrested? arrested and charged with felony possession of drugs and drug paraphernalia at a gas station in Alabama, with the boyfriend facing an additional charge of domestic violence. Following this, the fourth season premiered on March 27, 2020, and saw the series rebranded as Mum and June Family Crisis. The girls will get anything on TV. The kicker for me there is that it rebranded. They kept the show. All this shit happened. They kept the show and just rebranded it and like loosely based it off the drama, like, I hate it here. Okay, so from the clips and from what I've already said, you can probably tell how controversial this show was. I really don't think it would fly in 2020 for good reason. But at the same time, there are some shows that are actually quite similar. And I'm just like, how do you get away with this? The biggest criticism for the show that I've seen online is the whole thing about the outfits and makeup, which is pretty much the crux of the show, right? It's weird. It's just weird. So that's the that's me just trying to be like nice-ish about it. If you have a look at reviews and stuff on LinkedIn, people just go in about this. There's also been a ton of analysis done into how not just this show, but just pageants for really young kids in general, how it affects them and it ain't great. Also, you can pretty clearly see that it would reinforce and negative female body image issues because the competitions make the girls want to win, obviously. And who wins? The ones who look the most like a Barbie doll. So they're idolizing this idea of looking like a Barbie doll, but that shite ain't even real. It's not achievable to look like that all the time. So if they don't look like that, they're gonna be like, well, shit, I'm a loser. To summarize the critical public opinion, I'd like to read this IMDB review because the people went to town. And here's a fun example. Toddlers and Tiaras is grotesque to the point of being gut-wrenching, just a couple steps above being a cult. So, my analysis, shit show. Absolute shit television. Sometimes entertaining, because you can have shit television that is entertaining. Definitely would not fly in 2020. Very TLC, learned a lot learning channel. My score, two out of 10. That brings me to the end of this episode of Reality Rewind. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Was I being too harsh on my opinions about Toddlers and Tiaras? If you liked the video, feel free to leave a like. It's much appreciated. Feel free to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And my podcast has been back for season two for the last couple of weeks. So if you want to head over to the podcast channel or Spotify and Apple Music or Apple Podcasts and check that out, that'd be cool too. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you all soon. Peace out and bye. 
Welcome to the end screen. Here you will find another video for you to watch and a link to easily subscribe to my channel. So make sure you subscribe to my channel.